Hey guys, how's it going? I am the Conflict Nerd, hello and welcome back to Cube World. Today we're in the lands of Narmi. We're picking up where we left off last time. I wanna... No, oh, I apparently can't carry any more of those. I want to follow this road. I want to get to Narmi City and see what it's like. I'm just curious to see if a city in a snow biome is going to look any different to a city in, say, an ocean biome or a plains biome or a jungle biome. I just, I'm just curious to see, really, and that's that's pretty much it. Once we do that, we're going to head to the south and we're going to see what that dungeon is down there because it's not too far away from a city. So I have to assume it's not going to be all that difficult meaning that I could have a hell of a lot of fun with it. Also, these bastards are trying to have a go. Get out of here, come on. Seriously, I'm pretty much the Dovahkiin and you're gonna have a go? Really? Do you think this is logical? Wait a minute, you killed my pet! You sons of... Oh, stop healing! Rub it in, why don't you? Oh, he doesn't have healing potions, let's rub it in. Because we're dickheads. Stop rolling too, that's annoying. Shoot the alpaca! Not me. Oh, they shot the alpaca. Oh, this is tense. Oh, there we go. Look at that. 13 hit points and I kicked his ass. Just goes to show you. You don't mess with the Zohan. It would appear that Narmi City is pretty much exactly like every other city. Brown and boring. Hmm. Oh well. I'll go to the shops. I need to find uh, a place that I can buy some flasks in because I need to make some health potions. Because you might have noticed in uh, recent episodes I haven't had any. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I keep forgetting to make them before heading off to plunder, pillage, and have my way with various dungeons. So what I'm gonna do... Ooh. Whoa! Wow. Right. Okay. Alright, so aside from the game having a serious senior moment there, everything seems to be going to plan. I just need to make my way over to the well, and, uh, where the hell is... Tina? Tina? Uh, okay, that alpaca has ran off. Right, yes, apart from the game having a bit of a senior moment, I have decided that the best bet is to uh, head to that well, fill my flasks, make various health potions of good strength. Oh, there she is. Of course she gets here now. Make uh, various health potions that have decent strength in them, and then make my way to the south to pillage, plunder, and completely destroy a dungeon. That is basically my goal. And I shall accomplish it. Okay, we have 40 plus 67 health potions, which is fantastic news. They are going to be very, very useful. I should probably have one of them now, actually, now that I think about it, so I don't uh, get completely destroyed upon entering that dungeon. I uh, can't have any more of those. Okay, so it's not too far away. It's relatively close. I do wonder, however, could I kill a skull ghoul? Because I've, I've always had my ass kicked by these things, and for once it looks like I'm going to be doing the ass kicking, which is just, oh, it's just good, isn't it? Yeah, good effort there, Mr. Bull. Not quite sure why he dropped a carrot, but he did. Oh, look at that. That's very interesting. Okay, let's continue on our journey. I'm... I'm hoping, I'm sincerely hoping that this dungeon isn't going to be ridiculously high level. Because I realise this is quite far away from the spawn point on the map. But it's quite close to that town. So, you know, being me, I don't tend to do much reading into games because, hey, I like to be surprised and sometimes pleasantly surprised. Usually unpleasantly surprised, but either way, a surprise is nice. Although, since I'm completely clueless about the way dungeons work in this game, well, you know, it's uh, it's a bit of a problem, really. 
I could walk in there and the oh, what the I could walk in there and the enemies could all look at me and start talking like Christopher Walken for all I know. Actually, now that I now that I look at the terrain, oh, this isn't this isn't your regular dungeon. This is a yeah, the Durano Mountains, where they're all dwarves. Actually, oh, hello. Okay, okay, Fremrit's dead again. As I'm sure you can imagine, that wasn't the best place for my frame rate tick tank. But, uh. Are those. Those are hostile pigs! Why do these exist? My god, I don't know what to believe anymore. My favorite food is trying to kill me. Okay. So, yes, this area is populated by dwarves and. As I was going to say before my frame rate decided to get me killed. It's uh, interesting. This is the first time I've ever encountered an area that is populated by something that would sort of be there in generic fantasy lore. Which I'm okay with. I like the idea of dwarves and mountains. I would quite like to see some dwarven towns. Okay, let's try this. Oh, this was probably a massive mistake, but we can do it. We got this. Oh! Whoa! Wow! What are you? Seriously, what is... Wow! I don't know what's going on. Uh... Okay, this was not a smart move. Oh, dear. Is that a clone of me? It is, yeah. I'm not quite sure what that's doing there. It's not going to do a hell of a lot of damage against myself. This guy's tough. There is no way in hell I'm going to kill him. I can kill myself. Which is... Well... Okay. Right, so the, the, the Durano Mountains are sort of out of the question. Uh, that, that, that annoys me, to be honest. I was hoping I could do that, but... Evidently not. Okay, I wonder where this road takes me then. Oh man, I was hoping I could do that. I'm gonna have to um, put this map onto a server at some point and uh, see how that goes. Get some friends on. That's something I've been meaning to do for a while, and I would kind of like to know if you'd got you guys would be interested in seeing that. You know, would what the? Well, that's a road to nowhere. Would you be interested in me bringing some friends along for this series on occasion? I wouldn't have them all the time because, well, I'm a bit of a bastard. But occasionally, I don't know, I think it would be fun to uh, bring some people along, have a bit of a laugh, kill some stuff, go on a couple of dungeon raids and uh, generally cause hassle and what the actual fuck. So someone decided to set up camp in the middle of the road. Okay, fair play to them. What was what was your name? Lilas, Lully, Alea, and Javi. And I'm getting more, or well, should I say less frames than my shitty laptop used to get. You know, I'm incredibly glad that I recently changed how I put together videos. You know, I I don't know if you've noticed, and some of you probably haven't, but I I've done my best to try and cut out more of the boring stuff. You know, not all of it, because some of it is, you know, some of it needs to stay there to give context to a joke or something, but... I mean, you know, sections like this, where in a couple of seconds the video will cut and skip out all of the running that I'm about to do. Welcome to the Ruins of Anka. Now this should be very interesting. It's a ruined castle and I... I don't know that I've ever actually beaten one of these. Or properly stormed one of these to be honest with you, but I will say it's pretty creepy looking and I could also see the enemies in there. What are they? Oh for God's sake. Seriously? They look to be undead. Which I uh... I guess is okay. 
All right, where's the entrance? There's the entrance. Now the question is, can I actually kill them? You're a vampire. Right, that's not okay. You're getting your ass kicked. Ow. Okay. Okay, let's see how many of these guys I can just quickly pick off. Will you stop? And you. No one invited you to this party either. Bloody water mages as well. I can tell this isn't going to level me up all that well, but it's going to be fun. These guys aren't exactly challenging, and that just makes things quite entertaining, if I'm honest. Because, well, when you're just slaughtering the undead, you do feel like a bit of a dungeon, dungeoneering badass. Hi everyone, a vampire comes out of nowhere. And, uh, tries to kick your ass. That's less fun. There's loot in there, and I want it. Well, they tried. Come on, get out of here. I just want to kill your boss. That's all I want to do. I couldn't care less about any of you people. Well, like, are you technically people or are you undead? But whatever you are, I couldn't care less about you. I just want to kill your boss. Okay. They really are determined and it's just not going their way. You know, with one hand I kill them, with the other I pick up their loot as they die. It doesn't even get to touch the bloody ground. Oh, zombies. Again. They tried. Okay, I think I'm going the right way. Oh, 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 oh. Look at these guys waving their hands in the air like they just don't care. I mean, really. They should care. What's this? Oh, hello. Yeah, because you're going to be a challenge, aren't you? Yeah, this is, uh... This is more like sport than dungeoneering, really. Okay. And another shot or two should do it. Yeah, that was easy. And that's the boss, Dad. Uh, let's just kill this vampire. Come on, Edward. Time to you know, not exist anymore. I'm sick of teenage girls fantasizing about you. There we go. Alright, so I've just cleared a dungeon and completely crushed the dreams of a female generation. All in a day's work. I uh, feel like I've been quite successful here today. I will take that. And I will break that. But yeah, this is... Uh, this has gone well, I like to think. Oh, hello. There's more of you. Did I take a wrong turn or did I just miss these guys? Hmm. I think I just missed those guys. Because the entrance is right here. Good. Well, that was easy. The ruins of Anchor. What the hell's that? That looks like a nice mountain range. But whatever, how close are we to... We're right in the middle of this biome, and there is another dungeon over that way. So, well, you know what that means. There's a dungeon. We can't pass it up. We're going to have to go to it at some point. I mean, it's it's a natural thing for a, for a dungeoneer to do. Is, you know, go to a dungeon, take all the loot for himself, sell it for profit and become a badass. I mean, it's, it's really that simple.